burglary suspect claims to be Captain Jack Sparrow. On Saturday, September 30th, pirate costume-wearing 28-year-old Brian Francis Zielinski was arrested after burglarizing a home in Dunlap, Florida, before claiming to be Captain Jack Sparrow. Brian, who goes by the alias Captain Jack Sparrow and is a member of the Hells Angels gang was over at a friend's house in Poplar Street. Brian was wearing a black pirate hat, a black vest, brown jacket and red gloves. Witnesses have stated that he had been wearing similar pirate attire around the town for a number of weeks. His friends in the house asked him to leave their property because he was acting crazy. At approximately 11.05 p.m., Brian refused to leave the property so his friends called the police. The police arrived at the property and Brian managed to gain entrance back into the home through a downstairs window. Brian was refusing to cooperate with the police. He was tasered before being taken to jail. Brian Francis Solinsky was arrested and charged with aggravated burglary and resisting arrest. He is being held in Sequatchie County Jail. Felony charge for man spanking police horse. On Sunday, October 22, 29 year old Casey Martin Waldner of San Diego, California, slapped the behind of a police horse whilst an officer was riding on top, startling the horse, causing it to spin around. At approximately 2.30 a.m. Casey was spotted walking on the 100 block of North Orange Avenue near Washington Street, in Florida. Officers who were riding on top of police horses saw Casey walk behind as he, Officer Warren was mounted on top. Casey proceeded to spank as he's behind startling the horse, causing it to spin around. The two police officers attempted to talk to Waldner but when they approached him, he ran away. Casey was later apprehended after spotted leaving a nearby parking lot. The arresting officer found a bag of cocaine on his person. The 13-year-old police horse, Izzy, has been with the Orlando Police Department for five years. Fortunately, Izzy did not need veterinary care after the incident. Casey Martin Waldner was arrested and charged with a felony of injuring a police horse, resisting arrest without violence and cocaine possession. He has been booked into Orange County Jail, with a $1,250 bail. Man claims to be God, punches police officer. On Sunday, October 8, 19-year-old Jacob Michael Bortz, from Melbourne, Florida, assaulted a police officer whilst claiming to be the one God ruling over all mankind. Jacob was quickly arrested after his violent outburst. On the evening of Saturday at approximately 10.30 p.m., police arrived at Radnor Drive and Central Boulevard. What they spotted there was an adult man running around, flailing his arms and shouting a female's name in the street, all whilst sweating profusely. The sweaty man was none other than Jacob, who stands at an intimidating 6 feet 7. Jacob approached the police officers with clenched fists and shouted, You don't know what I've been through. I am God. He then proceeded to punch the police officer in the head. The officer used a taser on Bortz to subdue him, but he stood there and laughed, cackling, I like the pain. The officers managed to tackle Bortz to the floor and make their arrest. Jacob Michael Bortz was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer, resisting an officer with violence, and resisting an officer without violence. He is being held at Brevard County Jail with a $10,500 bond. Woman throws hot nacho cheese at 7-Eleven worker. On Thursday, October 12, 31-year-old Stephanie Lynn Hicks, from Melbourne, Florida, was arrested after throwing hot nacho cheese over a 7-Eleven employee after she claims the worker had an attitude when she spoke to her. Stephanie entered the convenience store located on 1268 Aurora Road at approximately 1.50 a.m. Stephanie claimed she entered the store for a sandwich and a hot cup of nacho cheese. As she was pouring her nacho cheese into a cup, 7-Eleven clerk Anne-Marie Laflamme told Stephanie not to open the nacho cheese dispenser. 
Stephanie claims that the worker spoke to her with an attitude, which sparked an argument, where the suspect called the store clerk several names. When Hicks approached the till the employee denied her service. Stephanie then hurled her sandwich and hot nacho cheese at Anne-Marie, she was left covered in hot yellow nacho cheese on her hands, her foot, and on the floor behind the register. Anne-Marie informed Stephanie that she would be calling the police. The police arrived and spotted Stephanie Lynn Hicks standing at the front of the store. She was arrested and charged with misdemeanor battery. She was taken to Brevard County Jail and held for a day before being released. Ex-KFC worker, robbing store, recognized by employees. On Tuesday, October 3, 28-year-old Cleveland Ken Travis Willis from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was suspected of conducting a robbery of a KFC. He was recognized as a ex-worker of the fast food eatery by his former co-workers. The two victims at the incident told the police that a man entered the KFC on Perkin Road, pointed a gun to the head of one of the workers and demanded money from the till. The worker recognized the voice behind the mask and asked Cleveland, Is that you? The suspect replied to the worker, No. It's not me. The victim claimed that he worked with Cleveland for months and could recognize his facial features through the holes in his ski mask. The workers handed over $612 from the cash register. The robbery suspect made his getaway in a silver Nissan Altima, the same car the fast food workers claim the Cleveland used to drive. A warrant was put out for the arrest of the robbery suspect, who was caught a week later. Cleveland Ken Travis Willis was arrested and charged with armed robbery. He booked into East Baton Rouge Parish Prison.